our vlog with our brand new tires and our brand new coilovers. It's been a long day, man. I finally got a little bit of room to come on up today and everything went great. It really did. Uh, the tires fit perfectly. Rims went on with no issues. Uh, slight clearance. There's slight, slight damn clearance with these Brembo brakes that are on here. You guys gotta be careful when you're ordering rims for the G35 because of the fact that those Brembos are so damn thick that sometimes you just don't have enough clearance through them. That's a big ass rock. I ain't hitting that thing, man. Not with the new tires. Not today, man. Now I gotta say, this is gonna make me drive a whole lot more cautious. In fact, I'm taking another way home just because there is construction and I don't even want to be near dirt or dust, water, or any of that shit with these new tires and rims on. Now, the rims actually came out a lot better than I expected that they originally would. Um, I'm just, man, I'm stoked. I really am. You know, this is my first kind of big purchase for the car. Rims, tires, you know, the whole nine. We have a shift knob coming in this week. It's going to be coming, ladies and gentlemen. I promise you that. Uh, I just ordered it the other day. So I'm expecting that in, I think it said June 11th, that that is going to be coming in. So look forward for a brand new shift knob. Those are some greasy bumps right now, man. I gotta say the tires are slick right now. They're real slick, they're fresh. You can't treat them as a set that's worn in because you could get in trouble very, very damn fast. So I'm just taking it easy, just relaxing, enjoying the car. And right now, um, my biggest thing at this point in time is cleaning it, polishing it up, and just detailing the interior, you know, getting everything kind of show ready, if you will. And I'm just excited, man. I'm excited for the weeks ahead to be driving the car again. You know, as I spoke about it before, you know, cars aren't really the same unless, you know, you add your own personal touches to the car. So when we had the rims on there, you know, they weren't my rims. You know, I got them with the car. So it wasn't like, oh my God, you know, I love this car, this and that. I just kind of you know, just kept it on the down low just because it wasn't anything that I've actually done. So moving forward, now that we actually have some things, it makes it for a lot more fun of a drive. Now I have not yet got my alignment done. Uh, that's something that I wanted to do today. Just ran out of time, unfortunately, but the alignment should be going in very soon. Car seems pretty stable, I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, after I got the coils in, the car pulled a little bit to the left after I did that. Now, before I got them in, the car pulled to the right. So I kind of evened it all up. It looks like we're getting some rush hour right now. Well, let me in, Playboy. Appreciate it. Just chilling in fourth gear. No rush, no hurry right now. But overall, at the end of the day, though, I'm really happy with the turnout of the rims. Uh, if you guys don't know the specs of the rims, we ended up going with a 18 by 9 all around. Um, originally, I thought that the tires that were going to be going on the car were going to be a 225, 45, 18 all around. So I went with the same amount of rim for each side. Now, looking back, um, it's kind of, you know, should I have went with the 18 by 10? and you know went with the staggered setup to be honest with you i'm really happy the way everything came out really happy um you know even the backs they're not poking out there's a 20 mil offset all around them so that really kind of worked out in my favor i thought you know i really liked the way that they came out there was no stretch in the tires whatsoever because we are going with the 275s in the rear this is my biggest tire i've ever owned in my life a 275 I look at those in fours and be like, God damn, those are big, man. You know what I'm saying? So it's nice to have some reliable rubber on here, some thick rubber where, you know, I'm going to feel a little bit safer driving as well, too. And just overall, at the end of the day, it's going to look mean as hell, man. It's going to look extra aggressive. I'm just excited to be driving and getting some looks in the car and making some montages, man. I want to start making some little edits of the G35 now that we have the rims, the tires all put on, you know, engine bay, clean it up polish everything up and I think at you know at the end of the summer I'm gonna look back at the car and be like god damn I'm happy man you know what I'm saying so 
I'd like to know from you guys if you guys are doing any kind of adjustments. It's gonna be a big bump. Look at that. Oh, damn. <laughs> I'd like to know from you guys if you're doing any work on your cars over the summer. You know, if so, what are you doing? You know, what kind of car do you have? Let me know, man. I like to listen and read all the comments that do get left. I do go through them, ladies and gentlemen. I do. So don't think that I don't. And also, too, while I'm on the topic of suspension and work on the car, um, my front struts. Now, I have not got a chance to adjust the rears whatsoever in terms of the dampening. As I said, these HSD coilovers have a 16-way adjustable dampening system. So, with that being said, my fronts right now are three clicks from the saw. Just fine-tuning it, you know, seeing what is feeling better than the rest of them, and just trying to, you know, play it out. Now, the rears I still have to adjust. Um, I think when I'm going to end up doing that, we're going to get out of six gear here, Jesus. Um, I think when I end up doing the rears, I'm going to stiffen them up maybe one or two clicks. Not too much, because everything right now feels good. The three feels really nice. I hear no clunking whatsoever, at least yet. I am on some pretty smooth road right now, but usually though, I would hear clunking on the actual suspension. Um, at least I did with the two 25s that I already had. Now, moving forward, uh, things that I would like to do to the car um, after today, uh, we got the strut bar in. That actually was very tedious because originally when I put that on, um, it did not want to go in properly. It actually was about, I'd say, this short from going in. Um, so what we ended up doing was loosening it up a little bit, fit the actual bolts in the strut bar, and presto, it worked. So I was a little bit nervous going forward. I'm like, man, if I got a wrong strut bar, I'm going to be real upset. But everything went on, no problems after that. Um, I'm thinking about buying a skid pad for the bottom of the undercarriage, you know, just something to protect it, you know, protect the oil pan, protect the vitals of that underneath the bay. Now, we are already getting hit with some damn rocks. I can, I can hear those big, beefy, meaty 275s kicking up rocks right now. I can hear that in the back. And the way that those tires are designed, um, I don't know if you guys ended up watching the video on those tires. I think I forgot to link it in that setup video that I made. But those tires though, um, they're, they're made specially with the three tread patterns. They have a s actual, very symmetrical style pattern that they are using. And it just, it just looks gorgeous. It looks so vicious on it that I can't even put it into words, man. And I just overall, I'm very happy of the week. You know, it was a longer week. I do apologize for, you know, the kind of clunkiness with the episodes that we were putting out. Um, I only did one video on the Wednesday. That was vicious, man. Did you hear that thing? That was scary. Now, I know a lot of people said about the XXR rims, you know, don't go with the XSRs, you know, go with the replica, or sorry, go with the real rims. You know, don't go fake, don't go with the reps. Personally, I'm really happy with the way that they turned out in terms of appearance. Now, in terms of durability, uh, that's gonna be, you know, tested throughout the next months ahead. I'm really hoping that I'm not gonna see any bends in the rims whatsoever. Um, you know, no kind of cracks or anything like that. But really, I'm just hoping for overall a sturdy setup. Um, you know, I, I just, I'm praying that these rims are going to hold up. And if you guys have XXR rims, feel free to let me know in the comments, you know, how they've worked out for you. Um, I mean, before I bought the rims, I did do some looking up online. There was mixed opinions about them. So I figured I'd just buy them myself and just, you know, see from my personal experience. And I hate going through other people's experience, but uh, we're gonna uh, get into this left lane here. I gotta make a big detour to get home because of this damn construction. And that is the last thing that I wanna be doing is hitting up construction, man. Not with these rims. Moving forward for the week ahead, um, my plans this weekend, I have a barbecue on Saturday night that I'm going to be going to. A bunch of car people are going to be going there. Look at these guys, man. You can't be doing that. I, uh, maybe you can't make a left turn. My, my apologies. Oh, shit. That was a big damn bump. It's a terrible, man. I don't want to be hitting those damn bumps, man. Not at all. I'm going to be playing a game of just avoiding potholes all day. But yeah, I do have a barbecue this weekend. I'm going to a buddy's. If you guys do remember uh, the the baby mint green Del Sol 
that I used to showcase. Uh, he was the person that ran Menace Rides. He still does, um, but he actually just came back into the province um, after a long awaited working adventure, trip, whatever. So he doesn't unfortunately drive the Del Sol anymore. In fact, he actually has a beastly Prius that he uh, he's pretty much done from the ground up. You know, he's done pull on bag system on it. It's absolutely insane. I'll get some clips of that when I'm there. Um, but in short though, it's gonna be a little bit of a car meet style. I'm hoping we're gonna do a nice cruise out, stuff like that. So I was really happy to get everything on the car before the Saturday ended up coming. Um, other than that, we got videos coming back to normal on Monday, two episodes a day. So again, I do apologize for, you know, just, oh, what lane do I want to be in? I want to be in this lane, man. I do apologize for just kind of the quirkiness of the week. You know, I'm usually a two video a day guy all day, every day, you know, no problems whatsoever. So, um, I do want to get back on schedule this week and, you know, come out swinging on Monday morning. Let me know in the comment section down below what game you would like to see most next week. Um, I'll look them over. I'll record some episodes for the week coming. But ladies and gentlemen, that is about it for today. Brand new rims, brand new tires on the car. Couldn't be happier with the entire setup. Um, just everything looks vicious. I love it. It looks aggressive. 275s. Like, oh my God, I cannot be happier. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys very much for watching again today. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to slap that like button. Show me the support in the comment section down below. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching today. Jamoda Slap Train, I'm out. Peace. Oh, my God. What is going on, everybody? Jamoda Slap Train, and welcome back, guys. Oh.